Hello, my name is Austrian Fire, and welcome back to Third Age Total War, The Dwarves of Khazad-dûm. I apologize for the long delay, I just honestly just had a bunch of things on my mind, I guess, really, which has kind of been distracting me, so I haven't really gotten back to this. But it's also partially because I am not exactly sure what to do right now. Because I've been, because I did, what after I first took Khazad Doom, I didn't, I didn't, I couldn't figure out what exactly I was going to do, frankly, because I'm at a bit of a disadvantage right now. Right now I'm on track to lose money, for example, here, and my forces are severely whittled, so there's no taking Khazad Doom West immediately, I don't think. I mean, theoretically I could, it's just, it's going to be difficult if I try. Um, I did realize a few things. Uh, I did realize a few things after the fact, like how I should have, like, managed my forces a little better, especially to save money. And that is, first of all, as soon as I left Mirkwood after that, after that battle against the, um, Mirkwood archers up by Bjorn's, uh, up by, um, Bjorn's, Bjorn's house, I should have just gotten rid of my cavalry units, period. I should have just been done with them because they cost so much. Um, because they, co they, they cost, you know, like an extra 400 per turn. Um... So the real question is what to do now. I feel like this episode's gonna be a lot of trial and error. Because one thing I could do, frankly, is just try to take is try to brute force Khazad Doom West. Since it's not exactly Since it's not exactly Well wait, I don't have a spy. Never mind, I can't really brute force Khazad Doom West, can I? Unless there's no gate, which I'm assuming there's going to be I'm assuming the game is going to recognize there being a gate. Okay, so it's like I guess it's testing time. Here. Yeah, see, I'm gonna need we siege engines. So, sire. lift the siege. Hold back. Well, we, the we'll siege. reload because there's no point in, like, wasting moving points and all that. Um... But no, I can't really brute force Kazadoom West, but I also have to save enough money. Well, one of the benefits of controlling Kazadoom now is that I'm going to have the benefit- as gonna have the defender's advantage in any defense. So what I could do is send my really expensive units off to the fort, for a little while, and have them just get free upkeep for a little bit, and hopefully they won't get attacked, because that feels like that's highly probable. But I also need to start increasing my weekly income, because I'm at a severe disadvantage in that regard. Let's see, Owen's bodyguard is 320. I gotta get the Kazadoom Reclaimers out of there. The Dragon Slayers are too cheap for that to be worthwhile. I don't know what Balin's thing is upkeep is okay so I king let's I fuse march. these two together I let's fuse these two together and then let's put them in the Casa Doom fort for now how does that put us okay minus 417 is much more manageable and then I could start building income buildings I feel like a pig farm is gonna be way more useful because again of course of the growth over time can't do high taxes really it's not really worth it. I lose all that public order and growth. Wait, Stoneworkers Hall. Mm, it will reduce future building costs. It's just... I'm a little more concerned about getting the money train rolling rather than saving immediate money because I don't have a lot of immediate money to save. Ooh, this is going to be difficult. Okay, I had a mission as well to go to Imladris, yes. Let's see, how long would it take you to get to Imladris? It would take too long, right? No, it wouldn't take too long if I'm quick about it. So let's start... Yes, sire. Go on, Ori. I must stop here, sire. Okay, if we start moving now, we should get there with it well within the five-turn limit, which will give us some military units, which is somewhat counterproductive, but I might be able to leverage them into a sieging force. Depending on what the units are, Kazadum 4. I'm going to expect. I'm also expecting like an immediate counterattack from the orcs of the Misty Mountains. Or not even immediate, but within like the next five or so turns, I expect a counterattack from them. Hmm. And so I wonder if there's anything in place to keep the um, realm of Imla. And Lagis became a Aragian. Well, I'm about to take advantage of the game's stupidity. 
Uh, no, I'm sorry, Broar. Not right now. Maybe later, but uh, not right now. Okay, we gained money this turn. What the fuck? Okay. Okay, I don't know what that's about, but okay. Um, I don't know. I'm a little surprised. Why did we gain so much income suddenly? Did things just kind of stabilize, or what was that? Hey, look, it's Radagast the Brown. Hey, Radagast. Okay, so... Where did that come from? Why is there King's Purse zero, incidentally? Did... Was I not paying attention in Khazad Doom's income just increase substantially over the past turn? Because if so, that's good. Okay, well, that's good then, because that means that... I can launch the Siege of Khazad Doom West since half their... Since their entire army is outside of it anyway. Um... I know what's right. Because that's how that works. Okay. Should we use should we use Balin or should we use Let's use Owen. Let's use Owen and try to get him a little bit of experience. We'll take these guys. We'll take the Kazad volunteers. We'll take the travelers, and we'll leave the heaviest units in In the city for now, and we'll move them next turn. Why the fuck am I doing this why am I doing this comp why am I swearing? First of all, why am I making this complicated? Marching battle, Jeez. Marching to engage the enemy side. No. Game. Game. No. No. Game. Game. All right, cousin. All right, that's gonna happen. Now you know it's not gonna hurt me significant. Well, wait, sixty-five percent is a little low, actually. Hold on. Given that the game seems to have bugged up anyway, I'm just gonna give it a- I'm just gonna go back because I need that, uh... I need that- I need that siege menu to pop up so I can make bat battering ram- blah, 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 battering rams in case I need them. I don't know if I need them. Okay, anyway, okay, so... I'm learning things, at least. I'm uh, just learning them in an incredibly stupid way. Way. I got distracted by Discord, I'm sorry. That was the manner of orcs, who were most often dismayed when their prey could turn and bite. Unfinished Tales, The Disaster of the Gladden Fields. Okay, let's uh, try this again. Um, preferably without that happening. We'll take these guys. And we'll march out this time. Okay, it's doing it correctly this time, I think. Okay, it's blue now, so there won't be a revolt at least. To engage the enemy side. Or it's gonna bug up again. Okay, so that's apparently bugged. So let's go back again. As we try to figure out what this is about. Yeah, this is gonna get old fast. Because I need to start that siege this turn, you know, I can't just I can't just have the siege um not happen. It has to start this turn so that I can take advantage of the AI, the fact that the AI can't re-garrison Khazad-Doom West. Um, because of game mechanics, because it is pretty easy to metagame Third Age this way, isn't it? Or Medieval 2 this way? Okay. Alright. Now, Lee. Oh, wait a minute. I know the problem. Owen can't reach the thing. Okay, hold on. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Owen can't reach it because he ran out of movement points. I just realized it's like three tiles over. Oh, your intrepid general's an idiot, everyone. My goodness, why didn't I figure that out at first? Well, I mean, obviously because I can't see the movement path because the giant mountain's in the way. But still... I'm assuming this is uh, Morgoth meeting on Goliant. Because this image is absolutely terrifying. And not even in an arachnophobic sense. Like, this is act that's, like, that's legitimately just a good piece of artwork because it's actually visually terrifying. Hold on, my lord. I my lord. Okay. So we're going to send Balin in first, I guess. And then we'll swap him out for... By your will, oh, sire, we shall yay. engage. I sire, laying siege at once. Can we, uh, we yeah, can we uh, not have the whole... Can we not have that go red, of all things? Oh wait, no, red is fine too. I think red is fine. 
You know, we're gonna drop the tax rate a little bit because our income is positive, so it's not gonna hurt us overly not hurt us overly much to do that. Oh um because I don't because I just don't want to risk that I don't want to risk something happening in the next turn that causes the um that causes it to go into into worse condition and suddenly there's an uprising. Because I absolutely hate those. I don't need to be losing people in Casa Doom right now. I have too few elves as it is, and I can't afford to lose troops too. Alright, so we'll swap out Balin uh, next turn. And we're going to stop being stupid. That's definitely what we're going to be doing. Is that a Rohan diplomat? Is he here to is he here for a visit? Is he gonna is he gonna have a bit of a visitation with us? Hi. Oh, bye guys. Okay. I guess you're gonna screw everything up. It's nice. I appreciate it. I mean I do. Oh look, it's Dairin! Um no. I can't afford any of these guys yet. Isengard and Rohan are at war. It took him more enough. Uh let's see, enter report. Okay, still in the positives, still in the positives. We gotta be of service. Alright. That's you keep not go possible, oh. oh no, I can't get through Zakhla shit. I also don't know why I turned that into a Klingon word. But whatever. Ah, it's because there's too many armies. I would be able to get around it you. otherwise. Awaiting your command. Those buggers. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for i I'm gonna see if they clear up the path next turn, I guess. Alright, All right, now Balin, you go I, back. I right. And king. and I Olin, king. you go forward. I, our and then we increase our tax rate a little bit. That actually is not an improvement. What the hell? Um, not a significant improvement from what it was before. And then we are going to brute force this. Since there's only going Forcing to be orcish on defenders, the defenders anyway. Yes, yeah, two units of Uruk defenders and Gorfimbul, the conqueror of Kazadun. Listen how pretentious, pretentious he sounds. I'm the conqueror of Casa Doom. Ah. Okay. I don't know why I'm. I don't know why I'm mocking a computer orc, but. Kill them all. I'm assuming that's just what I would do all the time if I played World of Warcraft, which I don't. We all know I play Final Fantasy XIV. Then Pippin stabbed upwards, and the written blade of Westernese pierced through the hide and went deep into the vitals of the troll. The black gate opens. Start deployment. All right, what are we looking at here? That's the real question. What are we looking at? Is it just an open field? It looks like it's an open field. It looks like the battering ram was not necessary. But you know, this game it won't let you be so. Okay, okay. I don't know why I'm spit. Why is my cursor going off screen? It's game, no game. Game, why? Why? Why are you letting my cursor go off screen? Why is it not locked? We have okay. captured the enemy's walls. <laughs> well, I can say for certain I've never seen that happen before. Alright, so we captured the enemy's walls, wherever the hell they happen to be. Alright, so we actually should have- we should also be able to use our cavalry in this, I think? Just gotta be judicious about it, and I should be- Cavalry, get over there. Alright, you guys like that. We'll use- Ooh, listen to you guys. Baruch Kazad! Wait, where did- Where am I- Where- Get over here, Kaza Doom Reclaimers, or else! Okay. Oh, will you now? Okay. Alright, so they have no ranged forces, actually, so that will work in my favor. Go away. Start the battle. Let's see, where's the enemy? Map. Okay, so they're clearly where they need to be. So I guess we're just gonna advance for now? I'm assuming, yeah, I'm assuming our ra I assumed our range was limited now, like a traditional, like a traditional battle in this game. I'm just gonna speed it up, because otherwise the dwarves will take forever to actually reach their destination. I mean, look how much faster the Bjornings move next to them. Uh, let's see what we're looking at. Gotta get farther forward. Okay, I see the dust clouds. I'm close enough to see the dust clouds now. I could see them the entire time, actually. I'm stupid. Yes! 
Who are they marching out? It looks like they're marching out. Oh, oh, cavalry, cavalry, what are you? Cavalry, what have you lost your minds? Cavalry, don't lose your minds, please. Don't lose your minds. Cavalry, I need you to not lose your mind. Okay, I am going to slow it down because I am losing control of the situation very rapidly. As that enemy is advancing very, very rapidly. So we're going to get these guys back here. Because they always make good flankers. And we'll have these two units do this. Let's see, we'll do these two units do this. And let's see. Alright, stop moving! Stop moving, I need you to shoot now. Okay, you guys back up a bit. Okay, ah, damn it, my cursor keeps going off the screen, it's throwing me off. Okay, what's in the front? Uruk Defenders, not really surprised by that. Gosh, I really need to lock this cursor in. Damn it, why is it not locked in? That usually doesn't happen, which is what's messing me up so much. Oh, that one, one, that one lead just took that shot to the nuts. I'm surprised they're advancing, though. That doesn't seem very wise, honestly. Oh, nope, I didn't want to hit guard button, sorry. How do I rotate the camera? Well, I mean, I could do that. I can go to the upper corner because my monitors are not the same size. Okay, so there's the orc bodyguard at the very back. Okay, at least we're dealing decent casualties, all things considered. <gasps> the Kazadoom Reclaimers are missile troops! Guys, they're missile troops! That's awesome! They also kind of flopped that throw just now, like, really badly. Okay, there we go. Now is the time! Oh wait, I can put them in guard formation. And the rest will throw, right? As soon as they like aren't engaged anymore. Oh no, you oh you buggers, no, stop shooting. Stop shooting, you dumb dumb. Don't our you favor. dare shoot my people. If we remain that. true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Shut off the fire at will. I'm just standing by until the enemy until they've run out of axes and then I'm gonna start doing maneuvers. Oh, or, or, okay, they can do this too. That works too. No, so, you know, we're gonna pressure them now. I'm gonna have my cavalry wrap around them, in fact. We'll have one take the square, and we'll have the other one hit the general's bodyguard from the rear. I think the Dale Cavalry would be better for that. Actually, I'm not even sure I want to charge that bodyguard yet. That bodyguard's probably tough. Our men are in control of the city. What is this music? Okay, let's see if this charge works. Shame they're not heavy cavalry, because that would have been better. Oh, what's going on? Oh, I'm clicking on a pillar, that's why. Get back! Get back, you fools! That didn't work at all, what the hell? Game. 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 Get, let them go. Let my horsemen go, game! Game, no, I don't mean let them go into the sweet embrace of death. I mean let them go. Let them retreat. Okay, one's free. Okay, let's hit the... Defenders from the rear. Oh, that poor guy. That poor guy is somehow still alive, all out of against all odds, and it's just hilarious. 
Only half the enemy force remains. Keep harassing that unit, actually. Hold on. Get get over there. Keep harassing them. Oh, I lost three horsemen in the process. Okay. And we pull back. Okay, whoa, I got a bunch of them that time. Okay, I'm gonna let the bee warnings move on. While the rest of my forces continue to fight. Oh, that Uruk Defenders unit broke up. That's why. Yes! The enemy general lies dead. We have sent the car to hell. Okay, you guys break that up real quick. Oh, get oh, get up there. Get up there. Don't you Don't you do this to me. The ordings, hurry up. We're gonna lose the square. No, we're not gonna lose the square. If the Bjornis can catch up, then I can get my Dale Cavalrymen out. Okay, I think the Bjornis are engaged, so we're pulling the Dale Cavalry out before they suffer more. I'm not gonna have many Dale Cavalrymen left after this, though. No, no, what are you doing? Get back here! Get back here, you cowards! Okay. Where's the dwarf? Where's the dwarf horde? There it is. Man, I didn't lose any reclaimers. Holy crap! They are good then. I mean, granted, Uruk defenders are nothing to nothing to really write home about. It's just one of those things where it's like I'm so surprised I didn't lose anything. Let's just get our cavalry up to the front here. Because those Uruk defenders are about to reach the square. And we might lose our ground if we don't make sure that we dealt with them. Where are you going? Where are you going? Curses! Damn it! Man no longer command the city. Ah, my lord, our men are in control of the city. <sighs> I was trying to avoid that by them not doing, by them not them not letting the Uruk defenders onto the point. But okay, sure. You know what? Screw it. If we if we lost that counter anyway, we might as well just hit the rear of the enemy formation there. It's fine, buddy. It's fine. We'll the keep the control. There we go. The field. After them. Right. Cut End the battle. All There's no the victory point we have in continuing that. Today. Didn't heal many casualties. Unfortunately. Whoa, why did I lose so many Bjorning? Well, I guess because Bjorning warriors are going up. We're punching above their weight there, weren't they? <laughs> That's why I lost a bunch. Caliborn came forth and led the host of Lorien over Anduin in many boats. They took Gold Dol Guldur. The Tale of Year is the Third Age. What is this an image of? Where would this be? Because again, this feels familiar. Is it the original Min Minas Tirith in uh, in Beleriand? Is that what that is? That's what I'm thinking. I think that's what that might be. That's pretty neat. Your Didn't think anyone would turn that into artwork. These people now kneel um, the Occupado. Let's not. Victory. Let's not, uh. 
worry about that. Okay, healer's post. Uh, let's see. Okay, I have dam I have damage for some reason. I don't know why. Zenith guard. Now that Balin and his expedition have claimed the three peaks, the dwarves now focus more heavily on the ways of war. The Legion is born. Forming Casa Doom's backbone, the Legion is used primarily as a front line of defense above ground and the spirit of the deep reclamation beneath it. These dwarves allow the volunteers and engineers to continue building up Moria behind the protection of the army. As with all battalions, there is a structured command, and at the height of the structure lies the Zenith, a formidable force hand chosen to lead the Legion. The Zenith accounts for only a few wars and acts as the Supreme War Council of Casa Doom, but also as a dedicated supply of warriors to march to the field as a personal bodyguard of the new lords of Casa Doom. They are almost unmatched on the battlefield and will defend their charges to the hilt before laying down their own lives in the service of the halls of Durin. General's unit. Ah! It's a general's unit. Okay. Alright, I need to get me some brewery going here. Because my culture, I'm assuming, is ludicrously low. Oh, wait. Hold on. I gotta get that first, and then I'll get the brewery. Uh, I'm not gonna bother repairing the walls, because there's not really much of the walls to repair. I mean, I guess the opposite end, it's just... I'm not worried about a counterattack right now. I mean, I should be probably, but... I gotta think about seven things at once. Okay. Ah, that's the tab I wanted to hit for crying out loud. I cannot figure out for the life of me what tab I wanted to hit. Alright, so that's 56% we have to clear out there, and what is it here? Uh, oop. I keep hitting the wrong time. Ooh, 66, okay. Enemy army routes. Trait increased. Owen Liberator has a doom. Ooh, yay. Guys, see, that's the other reason I chose Owen, so that Owen would also get a title, because I figured there would be a title for that one. Look at me being all clever. My he said, Lord. totally not sound like a complete asshole. Alright, how much are we making? 4187. Ooh, Doom West gave us a nice boost to trade and to its base input, its base income. Okay. Uh, where are you going? Diplomat! Uh, that butthead. I thought he was coming to talk to us, and instead he's just like, yeah, I'm going to go this way. It's like, well, I mean, he wouldn't have a dwarf voice. He'd be more like, you know, he'd have a Rohan kind of accent. Shut up. Okay, yep. Kind of expected the siege to happen. The enemy besieges us. We should give them hell. The only thing I wish I had was siege engines. And maybe a couple more archer units. Candidate for adoption. Benefactor, the High Lord Balan, Liberator of Casa Doom. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Baron. I'm not really in the mood for you right now. Moskeliath under attack. Silvertine Walls. We finally cleanse the upper levels of Casa Doom from the hordes of goblins, and we now look upon the great Silvertine Walls, which mark our city's western gateway. Our scouts reported some suspicious activity deep in the mines below the city, though, so we must stay vigilant. Okay, that's interesting. So I'm probably going to get besieged between the two, like in that little gap in the middle, a lot. We have brought shame on all those who doubted us, my lord. Casa Doom is ours again. We shall begin repairing the halls and burying the dead. Now that the halls belong to us once more, we should also start spending our realm together the necessary resources to completely restore the ancient halls of Casa Doom. Doing so would be a great opportunity to attract new citizens, miners, and reinforcements to help rebuild Casa Doom to its full glory. But be wary. We still have to purge the rest of the orc filth from the western side of the mountain and in the deep. We should always be well prepared for counterattack when counterattacks from the goblins who think they have claimed to our home. Lastly, while well, there has been no sign of Durin's Bane as of yet, we should send word for an old, to, for an old friend, Gandalf, known to us dwarves as Tharku. While well, that dastardly demon may have slunk back to dark pits whence he came, there's nothing wrong with having a wizard on our side. Send a diplomat to visit Bree. Tharku was last seen there in the company of a ranger with unusually long legs, so chances are the Bree folk know where our wizard is. That's interesting. I have a mission. I have a mission! Also, Ori cannot get over these damn mountains. I'm gonna have to go for the... I'm gonna to go to the Gap of Rohan, aren't I? Okay, maybe I can get around here. I mean, so much for that mission for Rivendell, though. Yeah, that's too many turns, so... Let's just start sending him to Breland, I guess. Let's see, where's Bree? Oh. 
Yeah. It's where the it giant ass so arrow is, Oz. Oop, I just clicked off the game. Nice job, me. Hopefully this will lock my cursor this time, though? Nope, still not locked. Still not locked. How frustrating. But it's fine. I don't plan on recording forever tonight anyway. In fact, I would say I'm almost done. Assuming the game wants to cooperate and reload properly. Today, in other words. Oh, wait, I'm locked. Okay, my cursor is locked. Good. Settlement besieged. Kaza Doom West. Let's see what the size of that force is anyway. I'm assuming, given how early the game is, it's going to be nothing impressive. Where the hell is Kaza Doom to the north? There we are. Have a taste of my play. Orcish halberds, goblin halberds, even goblin crossbows. Goblin crossbows. And the train port, 2130. Construction complete, pig farm, and a slave hall. Alright, recruitment. Can't recruit any troops yet. Zenith, Khazad Volunteers, Khazad Sentries. Ooh, Khazad Sentries, are they pikemen? Yes, I figured. Based on that image I could see. Uh, and here, Miners Union, and... Okay, make the Stoneworkers Hut now. I can make the stone workers hall there, so I will definitely make that a priority. All right, I want to see how this fight goes. Let's see. I can't recruit anything, obviously. Closet volunteers can be retrained, though. Captain of Moria. All right, let's see what the siege looks like. And I'm assuming they're just going to attack. They only need battering rams, so... That usually triggers the AI to attack, especially because it makes it think it has the advantage, when it obviously doesn't. I should be careful with my reclaimers, incidentally, because they have heavy armor, and crossbows are almost, better, almost always better against our armor. Why do they have two units of crossbowmen? And two units of archers? Okay, this is going to be inconvenient. On the other hand, hopefully there are sharp corners I can take advantage of. Slaughter the... <laughs> Are you okay? Slaughter thou! And he just got cut off. So that you got strangled mid-sentence. Start deployment. Ooh, okay, so we got the gate here. We got the gate. What can we see outside? Garbage. It's all garbage. It's all goblin garbage. Garbage. Anyway, let's see. Where is the square compared to where I am? Oh, this is the old map. Okay. So this is mostly you know, this is mostly the old map with some additions it put in. Okay. Oh, okay. I got to stay away from those damn pits though. Yep. Okay. Grab your weapons. Grab your weapons. Advance! Guard mode should hold them pretty well. And again, the enemy has pikes, so I'm probably going to have to be pretty aggressive when push comes to shove. Alright, I'm going to let the axes throw, I'm going to let the archers shoot. Archers, please. Archers, please. Thank you, archers. I'll spread out their formation later. You're not dwarves, you're horsemen. Wait, what? Oh, the siege. That's why I lost five of them. Damn it, why are the siege to sap their forces so quickly? That's so silly. Okay, is that all my forces? That's all my forces. Okay. Okay, I'm up here now. I was just trying to see if I could cl clip, clip my camera through the door. And it's just like, whoop! It's like, nope! Oh boy, this is gonna take a while, isn't it? Lay archers aren't actually shooting, right? Like, if anything, they should be in the pretend to shoot zone, right? Yeah, they're not even in the shoot zone because there's nothing to shoot. Because they have no line of sight. Oh, 
I can't help but think that maybe defending farther back would be better. But I can't let them get their cross... I can't let them use their crossbows against me. That's the problem. So I'm going to need to play it close to the vest, basically. There's no sally ports or anything for these cavalrymen, I presume. Well, I mean, not that there would be sally ports. It's just... There's nothing to the side, I presume, because... Well, it kind of defeat the purpose of having this gate if, there's a, if, if you could circumvent the choke wolf. What the hell is that animal? That's a goat. That's a horse. What the hell is this here? It sounded like a hell- it sounded like a fell beast or something. Lord, the enemy are battering down the gates. Oh, so how is the wall damaged if the if there's no wall to be damaged? Swarms, my lord! The enemy's ram has breached the gates! Game. Game, why are you doing this to me? Game. 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 No, you piece of shit. Now, we're probably just gonna get to Breland, and Gandalf is probably gonna try to sell us some sort of, like, Balrog or something. Leave alive, lads! Slaughter them! Right, start deployment again. Take two. Okay, you guys are positioned fine. You guys are gonna put up here again, because frankly, the narrower call, the narrower column. One day, one day when pigs fly, I'll have a narrow column right there. Why are these cav- why are all the Bjornings facing the wrong way anyway? Like, what the heck? Get ready, dwarves. Lord, the enemy are battering down the gates. Okay, we'll reduce it now. Oh, we'll reduce it now. And I don't want it to go. I don't want to be going full speed when the door breaks. I thought that was like dark skies, so it's just mountains. The enemy's ram has breached the gates. Arrow out of nowhere. Okay. Arrow. All right, here they come. Get ready. The enemy have the walls. Look to our defense, or all is lost. You'll be safe in my company. Grab your weapons! I'm glad they're not shooting anything. I'm glad they're just engaged in a mass melee. They are gonna push us back though with the weight. You gotta wait till they break through though before they start pushing up. Oh, that's incoming archery, that's why. Ah, disable guard mode. Give him a get, get, get a little give there, please. Okay, what's happening anyway? Why are they moving forward? Maybe this strategy was a mistake. Let's break up the 
shield wall and see if that helps a bit. Because they're really messing with my line here. Now, on the other hand, we are winning pretty decisively, aren't we? <coughs> well, let's keep how we're, let's keep up our current on Let's see if we can't throw into them anyway, despite our, our, our own forces being right here. The enemy general lies yes! dead. Let the crows have his miserable bones, and let what our fool. swords have his men. All right, get ready, cause of doom reclaimers. Throw your last axes in and head in. Stop shooting our boys in the back, archers, please. Stop. Stop. The enemy force remains. Oh wow, they are breaking in the worst possible way. As in they are stalling out as they break. <laughs> and now they're getting completely ruined. That is a lot of arrows, Jesus. Where are you going? Get back up there. That way. That way, through the gate. Stop those archers from shooting, Jesus. Oh, okay, they just fell apart. I tapped them and they fell apart. Oh, they're fighting to the death. That's why they're not really breaking up there. Oh, those goblin crossbowmen reformed. Go, 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 go. Stop them. Stop them. Stop them. What the heck? Did that, did that guy just leap forward? I'm gonna have my cavalry wrap around actually while my infantry deals with the crossbowmen that have reformed here. Look how our cavalry okay, falls. Never mind. Runs. It is time to press the attack. We're going to continue the battle and we're gonna run down the remainder of this enemy force. Ba 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 Wow, did we just wipe the floor with that crossbowman unit? What the heck? They're not, a, they're not away yet. Go! Can't chase them! Chase them! Run down as many as you can! Our foe is utterly vanquished. Let all who remember this day remember it as the day of our most glorious victory! What did I recover? I recovered Khazad volunteers. Good. Not many, but I recovered enough. It's good enough. Aragorn and Aelmer and Imrahil, their fortune, skill, and might of their arms, if you indeed had dared to abide them or look on their faces in the hour of their wrath. The Battle of the Pillar Fields. It's really funny when you read the book and you realize, like, like uh, you know, for a bit player, Imrahil is still, like, given a lot of attention. And it's just like... Yeah, I kind of would have liked to see like him get like some, some play in. Oh, it was worth a shot. Okay. Yes, yeah, so, yes, he gets so much. He gets so much uh, attention in the book and gets kind of neglected in the movie. And apparently, Lothlorien is under attack. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised. Yes, my king. All right, Loni. Show me what your Sire, dwarf eyes can see. Yes, yeah, so I reached Lothlorien. Oh, Lim here. That's different. That's entirely new, isn't it? Because it used to be Karis Galathon, and then in the west, it was, um... Kerindolen, I believe. Interesting. Interesting that they would change that. Hmm. 
Oh, no, not what I wanted to hit. All right, what do I need to build anyway? So like, there's iron mongers, dwarven neighbors. Great minus hall, armory. Camp guard, has that volunteers? Fruitland. Okay, so what can, can okay, we can retrain our, our weakest volunteer unit, that's good. Man, I really am gonna need Ballista in both of these areas, though. Because, like, one or two Ballista will make a huge Everything difference, especially in the event that Durin's Bane reappears. Yes, sire. Okay, can I please cross the Misty Mountains today? Of course. Not today, sire. but can I just cross the Today's Misty Mountains? This journey is over, sire. Where's Bree? Son of a gun, I just completely lost Bree. There it is. I should look for the Barrow Downs, because the Barrow Downs look so visually different now. Look at that. It's actually really cool. I like that. I like those little details. Like, Divide and Conquer's team has been very good about little details in the, on the strategic map, and I really appreciate that. Because it makes... Because, it, because, you know, for a game that really isn't alive in any sort of meaningful sense, um, you know, these little details make the map feel alive. You know, and they and they clearly refined it. Um, they clearly refined it from the 1.0 release to 2.2. You know, like to 2.0. Like they clearly did a lot of refining with all the new little farm icons and the Hobbit Burrow icons and everything in between. Good and fair fighter skill, bureaucrat, competent attacker, drill master, honest dwarf. Don't want to spend the extra money on another commander because just because I don't have a, I don't have a. Um, I don't have a whatchamacallit. That's what I wanted to say. That's really what I wanted to say just now. <laughs> Master Stoneworkers Hall. What? Building time is reduced by 10%? How the heck does that even work? Like, how would that affect anything that has less than 10 turns building time? Oh, whatever. I'm not going to question it. All right. Let's go a couple more turns, and then we'll put an end to this. Angmar and Linden have gone made peace for some weird reason. We train, can't train them yet. Alright, let's see repair. Okay, let's repair the wall. I don't know what difference it's really gonna make. It probably will just affect the enemy's estimation when they try to determine whether my position is worth attacking at all. Now, I'm really gonna need units here soon, because I only have I have less than a hundred garrisoned in Casa Doom. Right, let's go for like one more turn, I think, and then we'll something to investigate. All right, well, let's expand our realm as well. Okay, I'm, I'm also checking to see like what ter what the extent of our territory is. So that's the western peaks. That's the eastern peaks. Because our next target is going to be Zakala, yes, which looks like there. an elven city right now. They shall not see me, sire. Oh, they won't, will they? Well, I'm excited for you. Yeah, because that's got to be my next objective. To push north and hit that. And then hopefully push north and hit Goblin Town. And then, of course, push north and hit... Um, and hit, you know, whatchamacallit. I also got to figure out what my borders look like. I, like, what do I border precisely? An enemy to crush... I wish I could move Owen out further and build a sentry post, like, on the border of Casa Doom West Territory. But... That I forgot about you. I'm so sorry, Ori. You are Ori, right? I, I get you guys confused all the time because you all have similar names. That, we bring that word open? for you. Why did that elven diplomat just tap the so shoulder of that other diplomat? Anyway, um, yes, uh, Grey Havens of Linden, we will it was a accept fed, trade rights yes, with you. Until we meet again. Not that we can, you know, participate in trade with you because we are so far away from each other. Why is there even a diplomat from the Grey Havens of Linden this far east? What is Linden up to? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. 
It didn't scare me, but it was also, but it also made me kind of hit start for. It did make me start for like a quick second. That sudden, that sudden orc scream. Wow! <laughs> door. Wow, door. You have the finest name. You are also incredibly handsome for a dwarf. It's leaving me very unsettled. Oh, oh! Now you want me to go to them ladders again? Is that it? Okay. No, fool. Send your emissary to me. I'll send my emissary up your ass if you don't shut up. Can I wait? Can I reach a ladders from up here? Aye, sir. That's is this a, not is this a possible. Thing I can do? Nope. Good that is not a thing I can do. Daily and diplomat. I'm a so we're gonna send him around that way. I was just wondering why you could go up here because it's so weird. New mission. Wait, wait, wait we saw that. Okay, that. At least we have positive income. Construction complete. Khazad Doom West has a brewery now. Time to get drunk, bastards. I mean, dwarves. Bast dwarves. Oh, Stormworkers Hall. Let's do that. Let's. Because now it's worthwhile to save money because I'm making enough. War declared between. Like, in hindsight, I could have done that in the first place, but I just didn't know. And ignorance in this case is definitely an excuse. Because how was I supposed to know that was going to kind of bounce back like that? At your service. All right, Loney, show me On what Zakala has to awe. Oh, never mind, Sire, show me anything. No further this day. Oh, look at him. He has natural spying talent. All right. One more turn just because I want to see what happens next. Gosh, it's like civilization, except I'm actually emotionally invested in it. Speaking of civilization, I should ask one f a friend of mine if he wants to play. Maybe I'll even live stream it. I'll live stream how abs absolutely boring that is. Because I've been wanting to live stream lately, that's the thing. Like, I've really been wanting to live stream lately, I just, I don't know what. Um... You know, like, maybe Overwatch, especially with the summer games starting tomorrow, or today, assuming I do this right. Gimlin, you just look like a bootleg dwarf. You look like you're kind of cross-eyed. Minas Morgul will be sieged. Oh, look at, look at Gondor being all bold and stuff. Okay, good. We can retrain you now. Okay, what do we got here? I really, I really, really want the... Uh... Did I read things at the beginning of the... Okay, I read this. I mean, I read that for sure. I read that biography. Balan's Battle Axe. This great battle axe has been handed down from father to son for generations. The Book of, Mazar of Mazarbul. Balan took this book when he left Erebor in order to record the story of the colony and its progress in the depths of, the Moria. of Moria. May this book never contain dark news. Oh, I already read that. Okay, I did already read that. A Zanul Bizarre Veteran. Dwarves haven't fought many wars. The last one was the War of the War of Dwarves and Orcs, which ended in front of the East Gate of Khazad Doom. Those who took part in the war, especially in the final battle, gained much experience in warfare. High Lord of Khazad Doom. Moria has been reclaimed by the dwarves as they get rid of the dwarves who orcs who have barely controlled it for years. Led by their chief, the dwarves can now restore the halls, and most of all, dig anew to find the precious mithril which made their wealth once. The writing on this particular ancillary is a little off. Like, it's of, like, a lower quality of everything else. Like, the others have, like, typos, obviously. But that one's just written, like, with, like, a simpler... It's, this has, like, a simpler, um... has a simpler, uh, style to it. And it kind of threw me for a second. The mythic axe of Durin has been found in the dark depths of the Moria. Made of Mithril, this axe is very light, but extremely sharp. There will be tremendous advantage on the battlefield. Every dwarf will be proud and eager to follow the one who carries this weapon. The dwarves extract a new mithril from the depths of Khazad Doom. The smiths can now make coats of mail ma mail made of mithril. It is said that they are more resilient than dragon scales, but as light as a plum. There isn't better protection in the whole world. Something to invest. Well, that makes me excited for the miracle that is mithril. Okay. They won't care on me. All right, success. He's gained two experience. That should make it much easier for him to spy. I am a king. I think that's going to take too long if I make him go that way. Whereas these orcs may move before long. Yes, sire. Hi. I'm How are you, Captain? Thank you. Captain Piers at name tag. Captain Gazhorn. Why am I talking to you? 
Like, that's how I would feel if I was a dwarf. Like, why am I even asked to talk to you? <laughs> I could really use roads. That'd be nice. And I really need to get the basics going. I should get, in the, I should get a large pig farm to greatly increase my population growth. I feel like the pop the healer's post will help with that too. Oh, the mining network, that's right, the mining network will help a lot. Um, let's see. What else grows my population? Not that. Not that. I'm just making sure that nothing else changes uh, nothing else increases my population growth. That will because of the public health bonus. That's not much else. What about Casa Doom? Uh, wait, no, it's the same thing. What am I looking at? I'm actually really tired. I've been up since a quarter to three this morning. It's throwing me off. All right. Ooh, building time is reduced by 35%. Now, you see, that's useful. That's very useful. I don't understand how 10% would be useful at all. Unless these are reversed. But how can they be reversed? Because that's already 10%. Alright, anyway, I want to thank you all for watching this episode of Third Age Total War, the door the dwarves, blah, 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 the dwarves even of Casa Doom. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe for more, and I will catch you next time. As Balan's expedition continues its mission to restore the glory of Casa Doom. Until next time, everybody. <laughs>